Welcome to SimpleSoft Simple Sleuth tutorial. Simple Sleuth is a vulnerability tester that checks for vulnerabilities through SNMP based denial of service attacks in both agents and managers. In this short tutorial, we'll show you how you can benefit from SimpleSoft's vulnerability testing for managers. We also have a separate tutorial on testing vulnerabilities in agents on our YouTube channel. With Manager Vulnerability Testing, you can check if a manager is vulnerable to SNMP-based denial of service attacks when receiving bad traps, informs, report PDUs, or even responses from a recently discovered rogue agent. An SNMP manager typically has two components, a trap receiver that processes any packets that come in on UDP port 162 and a command generator that sends SNMP requests and processes incoming responses. The work done by them can be considered to be made up of two steps. Step 1. Decode the received packets. Step 2. Process the decoded packets based on trap identifiers or request identifiers. For trap receivers, badly encoded traps and informs detect vulnerabilities in step 1 and bad valued traps and informs detect vulnerabilities in step 2. For command generator, badly encoded responses detect vulnerabilities in step 1 and bad valued response packets detect vulnerabilities in step 2. Because trap receivers use well-defined ports and command generators do not, they each need a different type of test setup and execution. Let's first take a look at the trap receiver testing. To configure Simple Sleuth to detect vulnerabilities in trap receivers, click on the settings button. You can set the base values for the trap contents from the test tab in the settings screen. The trap port and interpacket delay can be set in the advanced tab of the settings screen. Now that the settings are correct, specify the trap receiver IP address, select the appropriate test suite, choose all or a specific test and click on start to initiate the testing. The tests begin running one after the other and the results are displayed next to them. However, unlike agent testing, periodic checks are not done to see if the trap receiver is still alive. An excellent rating in the test simply means that the bad packet transmission was successful. You would need to check the trap receiver periodically and check its state. Now let's take a look at configuring Simple Sleuth to do command generator testing. Since management applications send requests using dynamic UDP ports and use different request IDs within a request, Simple Sleuth must have these two values in order to generate bad responses. So, Simple Sleuth simply pretends to be an agent by opening up port 161 and waits for requests. Once a manager sends a request to it, Simple Sleuth can determine the manager UDP source port as well as request ID and then it uses these two pieces of information to start generating bad responses. To configure Simple Sleuth to detect vulnerabilities in command generators, click on the settings button. In the test tab on the settings screen, you can specify the number of bad responses per request to generate as well as whether to follow them with a good response to resynchronize the management application. Now that you have ensured that the settings are correct, you can start testing. Specify the IP address of the machine on which you are running Simple Sleuth, select the appropriate test suite, choose all or a specific test and click on start to initiate the testing. Simple Sleuth will open up port 161 and wait to receive requests. You can then go to the management application side and make it send repeated SNMP requests to Simple Sleuth as in a polling application. You can also write a simple forever loop in a shell script and run command line utilities like SNMP get which typically share the same ASN.1 libraries in the SNMP code. Based on bad responses per request setting, Simple Sleuth will respond to each SNMP request with one or more bad responses and then once again wait for the subsequent request. Once all the bad requests are sent, the tests are completed. An excellent rating in the test simply means that the bad packet transmission was successful. 
We hope this short introduction has shown you how you can quickly identify vulnerabilities in SNMP Manager implementations. To watch our other tutorials, please visit us at www.simplesoft.com. Thank you.